Hello and welcome to my channel, where we explore chunks of Scottish history. This episode will be full of it, thanks to lovely people of the Scottish jewel called Haddington. Today I will show you 5 main places that you can easily visit and you should not miss. The first one is one of the two main streets in Haddington. Haddington's High Street is an excellent place for shopping. Have a chat with locals or grab an ice cream, or just enjoy the moment in the beautiful town. History of this town is dating from 6th century and became part of the Scotland in 10th century. Just outside of Haddington you can find a second place, and it's a stunning Lennoxlow House. Lennoxlow House is a home of Duke of Hamilton, built in 14th century. Lennoxlow House is an intriguing mixture of time periods, with 18th century Palladian and Victorian elegance, blended with the earlier 14th century tower house. The house also acts as a showcase for one of the Britain's great art collections, featuring portraits, furniture and ceramics. Much of the collection was brought here from Hamilton Palace. The third gem of this beautiful town is St. Mary's Parish Church, and I can tell you, I was not expecting it to be full of exciting history. Thanks to Janet, local volunteer, I had a chance to film it for you. Thank you Janet, appreciate it. Welcome to St Mary's Parish Church in Haddington. We are open every day from May till September and today it's my turn on duty. My name is Janet. St Mary's is the longest parish church in Scotland. From end to end we are about six feet longer than St Giles in Edinburgh. And it was started about 1387, so it's over 600 years old. When it was built, it was built in the shape of a cross, but unfortunately it was badly destroyed during the Siege of Haddington, 1548 to 49, when the English took over the town and cannonballed the roof. When eventually they left in 1549, due to plague and lack of food, bits and pieces, after an 18 month siege they gave up, we were left with an almost roofless building. And at the encouragement of John Knox, I'm sure you've heard of John Knox, he was born in Haddington, just on the other side of the river, through the east window there. John Knox suggested re-roofing the church only from the west end to the steep. A large barrier wall was built and this end of the building was restored. The rest of it was left open to the elements for over 400 years. There was a point in history when church going was very popular and you'll see above the windows where the roof had to be raised and wooden galleries were put in to allow extra sitting. 
Unfortunately, Church Square isn't quite so popular nowadays, and the only wooden gallery left is the one just behind us here. At one point, these were all the way around. The barrier wall was between these two pillars here, and when it was taken down, you will be able to read the inscription on the floor here. This is the chapel of the three kings. You can see the three kings on the wall here. And also on the icon to the side here. This is the Maitland family chapel. Just outside of St. Mary's Parish Church lies the history Nangay Bridge. This attraction is a stone's throw from the St. Mary's Church and it's a great place to stop, relax and watch the swans and ducks of Haddington frockling in the River Tyne. It was also a punishment site as criminals would regularly be hanged from the bridge. From this bridge you are treated to a memorable skyline of town, churches and buildings and the complex of history and outstanding architecture that makes this bridge an attraction you must see while in Haddington. Like my videos, please subscribe. Appreciate it. Saint Martin's Kirk has been around since 11th century, making it a great example of Romanesque design church in Scotland. Famous John Knox is said to have attended Saint Martin's Church as a youth, making this sport particularly important in Scotland's history. The church was destroyed in 1560 during the Protestant Reformation, but you can still explore its ruined state to this day. Thank you for watching my video. Hello. Barbara's the lead artist. Tell me what is what is this about? So this is um, COVID memorial. Okay. So it's remembering together is a project run by the Scottish government, and uh, we're going around East Lothian on the bus, asking people to give us information about what they'd like to see as a a memorial for COVID in, in the community. So I've been around various community groups and spoken to lots of people and we've had some ideas which I've got here presented in the book. 
and then we're asking people to come on board and hear about the ideas and decide which one their preference would be. Sort of tell us what they think or give us their own.